Yo, it's Alan Young here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new app that has been released to Commerce HQ. So, they've released a new app, and uh, like I've said before, this is just, uh, you know, many more are going to be released over time. They're just going to keep adding and, uh, you know, listening to what people want and adding apps as uh, time goes on. So, they've added a new app. So, this app is the Currency Converter app so when people come to your store they're going to see it in the or see the price in the default uh, cu currency of the country that you're in so i'm actually in the uk now so when i come to this store it's initially it's going to show me in um in pounds there's plenty more options here loads there so if people want to change they can but you're going to see it in this and this just helps if someone comes to this store and they can see in their own country straight away what the price is they're not gonna to have to think about it because if you uh you know say you're from china or you're from uh, ireland or whatever it is you see a price in dollars you may not really understand what that price is in your own currency so Sorry. Um, so you can see it now in your own currency. And when you go to check out, it will then charge you in the store's currency. And that is just because your, you know, your card processing company is going to uh, just charge in the default currency that you've got it set out, which is obviously going to be dollars or, uh, you know, pounds it's up to you. But, um, you know, mine's in dollars. So once they get to the checkout, it will then show them that they're going to be charging dollars. So I'll show you that now quickly. So this is uh, just a. Uh, a page for my store page to make sense like basic a product page for this store which is built on commerce hq obviously and uh and then when they go to this here is the uh one of the checkout pages it still shows them in pounds so they understand the price and this is dynamically uh updated so whatever the current exchange rate is it's going to show that and then when they get to the actual checkout page they're going to see it in dollars and that you know this is going to be fine most people are not going to care it's just so they know the price initially when they come to the store they can see when they're scrolling through it's not going to be like confusing because when you're looking at different products and you don't know the exchange rate you're not going to really know what the price is but they know now it's about 54 pound and that's what they're going to get charged in dollars and then they can go and put their details in and then go and buy so nice and simple it's really good for your store it's another cool app that's been added to their app store so on the back end if you're not signed up this is the app store you've got the currency converter there now you've got print and demand product customizer um, platform migration shipping plus review app facebook dynamic uh, feed app security bags checkout timer uh, lead capture overlay promo bar timer widget quantity left recent purchase notifications you've got abandoned carts you've got loads of cool stuff automated emails and this is something they're going to be building like email funnels you can do uh, you've got the visual store builder they've actually just released a new um a new update which is for the visual store builder i haven't even checked it out yet but basically it's a new sidebar uh, which you can create on on the product page i don't really know i'm not going to say too much about it because i haven't actually gone and looked at it yet but there's a new update to the visual store builder which i've heard has made it even better so look let's go back if i can go back to this product so this is just an example page that while you're here this is you got the uh, i'll show you what an app what these apps do so if you're not really fully sure what the apps are going to be very quick save it for literally going to be a minute so this is a security badge app so that's just a security badge builds trust this is a countdown or quantity left app even so that's saying 21 and that's dynamically updated so if they come back in three hours that's going to go down again um and then you got the um the timer which is like the uh you know urgency so it's going to give people a sense of urgency to buy now and then you've got this recent purchase notification app so it shows that other people are buying from you so it's like social proof these are legit they're not just made up um you know you've got a related products this is a related product app with a one click upsell app i've actually installed this this is called share this if you want to install this it's called share this really easy to set up um promo bar app Lots of cool stuff anyway. And it's all built into Commerce HQ. So if you do want to check it out, go ahead, check it out. There's also a link in the description. If you want to get two free stores, get two free stores. That means you're going to get three stores uh, for a one-store plan. So it's just, it's just like two free stores for you, basically, if you're setting up a store with Commerce HQ. So the link's in the description if you want to check that out. And um, if we're not friends, why not? Hit subscribe. Let's be friends on YouTube. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. And uh, just before I go, and if, if you know me, you've been watching my videos, and you're actually wondering why I haven't put much content up lately, the reason is I've just been working on my, obviously, my own businesses, working, you know, doing the stuff I need to do. And sometimes, 
YouTube, making YouTube videos does take a lot of my time and it's, uh, you know, obviously I need to work on the, the parts of the business that make me the most money and, and obviously keep me moving forward. So at the minute it's had to be a bit on the back burner because the video editing is uh, it's a bit of a pain for me. I'm a bit slow with it. So, you know, hopefully one day I can hire someone to do that. But at the minute I just do it myself. So that is why I've been putting it on the back burner because just really don't have the time to do it at the minute. But I thought I'd just shoot you this quick video just to show you the new app and let you know there's obviously going to be more coming. And if you want to know anything about it, put a comment in the comments and I will get back to you. But if not, you do want to check it out. Make sure you get your two free stores and I will see you in another video. Till then.